Uh, we have been told that we should be on the fourth floor by 1040. So I will try my best <laughs> to <laughs> get us there by 1145. <laughs> Today, I would like to talk to you briefly under the title, Just Like Naaman. Our scripture reading uh, came to us from the book of Kings, 2 Kings chapter 5. There are some things that uh, we should note about this man called Naaman. It's a very popular story. In 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 1, it says, Naaman, the commander of the Syrian army, was highly respected and esteemed by the king of Syria because through Naaman the Lord had given victory to the Syrian forces he was a great soldier but he suffered from a dreaded skin disease according to the, uh, the good news version he had good qualities he had power he had money because when he went to the prophet he offered what would amount to about 84,000 pounds in today's uh, world. Uh, he had money. He had servants because we know that it was the servant girl who told the mistress of the prophet. Uh, he was a man over other soldiers. But like Naaman, we suffer from a disease. We have degrees and uh, we have skills and all sorts of abilities and some of us are blessed with good looks and all sorts of nice things, but we are diseased. We suffer from sin. Uh, Austin B. Tucker in his sermon, How God Heals the Sin Sick Soul, puts it this way. He says, sin and leprosy are very similar. Each tends to spread and worsen. Does any disease make one more repulsive? Just so is sin detestable to God and to sincere Christians. Sin, like leprosy, is infectious, threatening those around the sinner and separating the one infected from the fellowship of all. And apart from a miracle of God, there is no cure for sin, just as until recently, there was no medicine for leprosy. So, like Naaman, we suffer from a dreaded disease. Second Kings 5 verse 3 said, One day, uh, the servant girl, Naaman's servant girl, said to her mistress, I wish that my master could go to the prophet who lives in Samaria. He would cure him of his disease. There are friends and family, loved ones who wish that we who suffer from this illness we call sin uh, would get healing because one way or another this sickness that we suffer from causes them some kind of inconvenience and at times stress and heartache. Jesus is such a friend who is worried about our condition in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 39 and 40, he said to those listening, he said, You study the scriptures because you think in them you will find eternal life. And these very scriptures speak about me. Yet in verse 40, he said, Yet you are not willing to come to me in order to have life. Naaman heard about a cure for his sickness. We have heard about the cure for our sickness. But at times we are unwilling to head to the source of the cure. We have, uh, like Naaman, challenges. For Naaman, well, Naaman wanted healing. So he went down to the prophet as they, he got his letter from his king to... Uh, to take to the, the, the king. <clears throat> so in 2 Kings 5.11, when Naaman had gone to speak to the prophet, 
The Bible says Naaman left in a rage. In verse 11 it says, But Naaman left in a rage, saying, I thought that he would at least come out to me, pray to the Lord his God, wave his hand over the diseased spot, and cure me. <laughs> Naaman was expecting magic, something swift, something that would cause him no embarrassment, no struggles. You know, Naaman wanted, like us, the easy way. Something nice. Ellen White, in the book of uh, Prophets and Kings, page 249, said, The proud spirit of Naaman rebelled against following the course outlined by Elisha. The rivers mentioned by the Syrian captain were beautified by surrounding groves. And many went to the banks of these pleasant streams to worship their idol gods. It would have cost Naaman no great humiliation of soul to go down into one of these streams. But it was only through the specific directions of the prophet that he would find healing. Willing obedience alone would bring the desired result. We struggle with this sickness called sin. And at times, we want, well, I think, not at times, but I think all of us want an easy way. We wish that God would just go in and cut out the desire to sin. Yes? All right, maybe you don't. <laughs> but, but, you know, we want an easy way. You know, this, we, we get tired sometimes of having to, you know, we, we fall trapped to the same temptations and have to go back and confess about the same sins. We feel frustrated at times. And so, we don't always approve of God's method. It's too long, we say. It, 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 is got, it causes too much stress. Do something for me quickly. Naaman wanted to go to the beautiful rivers and to dip but we must come to a place where we understand that no human effort will be able to save us. Amen? Amen. Only through the approved methods of God will we be saved. In Naaman complained in 2 Kings 5.12, he said, Besides, are the rivers Abana and Fafar, Fapar back in Damascus better than any river in Israel? I could have washed in them and be cured. Naaman seemed to think that the cleansing power was in the river. Not so. Not so at all. It is God who gave him the method for his restoration, for his cure. And it is God who has given us our orders as to how we may experience cleansing from sin. And no methods that we devise will ever be successful. We have to go through the approved methods of God. So, the Bible said that Naaman went down to the Jordan River and dipped in it seven times, as Elisha had instructed. And he was completely cured. His flesh became firm and healthy like that of a child. When we follow the approved methods of God, we will start to experience the change. And when Jesus comes the second time, we will experience that change in totality. But until then, we have to be faithful. We have to be steady. And we have to walk the path that he has charted for us. And so today, we have the communion service. And my... A charge to you is to recommit yourself to the task. Let us be committed to the task. Let us be faithful to the task and to the path. Because he that promised is faithful. Be faithful. Just like Naaman. We have to be obedient in order to experience the change. Amen. Amen.